Okay, part two. So, yeah. So, like I was saying, um, this could basically, this is a cure. And I started thinking of um, HCG as a cure. So, I started thinking of um, a, a, an example that came to my head today was, for instance, if somebody who had let's say they had cancer and I know this is in no way shape or form anything like cancer okay but obesity is still it's a disease right so in my head I was just thinking it, as an example cancer and somebody goes to you know let's say they go to the doctor or they go to you know a center and the doctor there or the person there, like a doctor or whatever, you know, say, you know what, we have this cure. We have this cure, okay? And you're going to need to do this. And it's unconventional, okay? It's something completely out of the norm. Something that you're not necessarily, um, you, you're not, you, you, it's something that's not um, what everybody's talking about, okay? It's different. But you're need you're gonna need to follow it to the T in order for you to be cured. And at the end of the road, you will be cured. You just need to follow this. Now, this is something that is completely out of your comfort zone. It's unconventional. You know, it's something that other people may not even agree upon, you know. It, it, it's just a completely different way of going about it. But you will be cured. Just follow it. And let's say you get on it with the intentions of following it to the T. But then once you get to it, and I'll speak to myself, <laughs> once I get to it, right, at, once I get on it, I start venturing off and I start doing my own thing because that's what I want to do. And I know what I can do to be cured. I'm going to make this work for me to make sure that I can handle doing it. But it's written out in black and white on what you need to do. I wish I had the book because I would have held the book up right now. <laughs> it's written out exactly what you need to do. There's no guessing involved in it. So you venture out and then, yeah, let's say you have some relief, but you're not cured. You know, you're not cured. You could have, your time could have been shorter, but you took a detour, you know? I kind of, I'm kind of thinking of it in that way. And yes, this is something I have been told. Some other people have told me this, you know? Like, but I think it was just, I needed to know for myself, you know? I really did. So, in, in kind of in that regard, you guys, thinking about all this and reflecting on my round, this is what I kind of came up with. I'm not going to do maintenance, only because maintenance is to set you at a particular point, right? And I'm not wanting to stay at this point. Yes, I know, you know, I, there might be a potential of me going backwards and stuff. But I'm not, this isn't the end of my journey, you know. I am taking a, a short little detour and I'm going to, this isn't the only thing to help to lose weight. It's the only thing that can cure me as far as obesity is concerned, but it isn't the only thing to help me to lose weight. There are other things to help me lose weight and I'm actually going to go that other avenue to hopefully by the time I'm done with this, I'm hoping I'll be at 145. And I am thinking, um, I'm actually going to be doing this other thing. It's called petrochemical protocol. And basically what it is, it uses essential oils to target the fat cells, to release the toxins out of the fat cells, and to close the fat cells up, which results in weight loss and you know, smoother, tighter, firmer skin. And it's a six-week protocol. It doesn't require me, like, I have to eat clean on it. And it's six weeks. It's a six-week thing. 
so it requires me to, um, you know, to eat clean. Um, I'm allowed to eat, you know, uh, sugars and stuff, but I have to limit it. Like I'm not a, really allowed to eat a lot of it. You know, I have to be very, very careful. So I don't plan on eating any sugars and stuff for six weeks. I still have to drink a lot of water and stuff like that, but I'm going to go that route. And I'm thinking I'm going to kind of take the summer, you know, it's a six week thing, but I think I'm going to take the whole summer to lose 10 to 15 more pounds. So that'll put me at, if I'm at 145 by the time I'm done, it'll put me at 135, 130, right? So then by the end of the summer, I will start my second and last round, okay? And... I will do 21 days pop everything, including the hair. So hopefully I'm probably going to let my hair grow out so I can get some braids or something because I'm not going to be able to stand having dry, crispy hair. <laughs> I'm not. But I could deal with everything else, the lotions and the soaps and stuff. And I don't really wear makeup, you know, other than if we're going somewhere um, I don't wear makeup that much, so I can be okay with that. Um, yeah, but I plan on being completely pop for 20, like I will do a 21 day. My It'll be my last round. Hopefully, you know, by the end of summer, I'm 135, 130. 21 days will put me, it'll put me well into the 120s. And I will have a major transformation. And then after that, after those three weeks... Um, and then doing the three days, you know, off off the drops. And then doing three weeks maintenance to set it. To set what my weight will be. I don't want to do any longer than that, than the 21 days. I don't, you know. I think, I know that I can follow that time frame, you know. But I'm going to kind of do my own thing um, until, like, if I try to do it in the summer, because this is basically something that I got to follow for six weeks, right? Six weeks I'm going to have to follow. Well, in the summertime, I have summer, I, there's three birthdays coming up. There's my birthday and two of my kids' birthdays in the summer. And then there's barbecues and, you know, 4th of July. Look, I'm going to eat, but I'm not, I'm not going to pick myself out and stuff, but if I want a burger with a bun, I'm going to eat a burger with bun, okay? <laughs> it's not something I plan on eating every day. But I'm going to just, and I'm going to continue to do, um, continue to do my vlogs to keep myself accountable. Because that's one thing Sarah was telling me. She's like, you're going to have to stick. If you're going to do this, you're going to have to stick with it. You're going to have to. Because it's not... It's going to be very easy for me to go back into my old ways. And she's absolutely right. And I said, well, that's what I got you for. <laughs> that's what I got you for. And also, I'm going to continue to vlog because I want you guys to, you know, just see how I'm doing. And also, it keeps me accountable so I don't go back into my old ways. I just love, I'm glad that I have vlogged during this whole journey because... The times when I've wanted to really, really cheat, I haven't. And the times that I have cheated, I've had to, like, have my head down and come to you guys and be like, I cheated, you know? And it made me feel so bad that I needed that to keep me in line, you know? If I took a day or two of not blog, I, I never went more than a day or two other than my little two-week breaks that I took, you know? But when I started back full forest in April, I didn't take more than a day or two of not blogging. And it kept me accountable. So I thank all of you guys for that. I thank you for the support. I'm gonna finish out finish out my bottle and then I'm gonna I'm gonna start my new journey. And then um later on, you know, I don't know. I was gonna do it after my birthday. I don't know. We'll see. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it after my birthday. Because that's six weeks that I'm going to have to stick to this thing. Six weeks. And then I'm going to have to get, go into life phase. So, no. It's, it's going to be September. 
are probably the end when the kids go to school, like right after my son's birthday. His birthday is August 21st. So right after that is when I'll start up because then I'll have a full six weeks before my next child's birthday. And I say birthdays, you guys, because of the cake involved and stuff, you know. So I to say I'm not going to have cake would be an ultimate lie. But I want to finish out a full six weeks of doing this, you know, three weeks on the round, on protocol, three weeks maintenance, you know. So I want to I wanna stick with that, you guys, because I know that HCG will cure me. I will never have to worry about my weight again. Never. And, you know, I was such in a rush in the beginning to get this off, get this off, get this off. And there really is no rush. There's no rush to this. However, I don't want to make it a pattern of relying on HCG when I put weight back on. I don't want to do that. I want to do it the way that it is intended, which is to cure me. Do it this time. Do it the right way. That way I'll never have to worry about this again. You know? But I know right now I have, I'm not... I'm not committed. So to say after my birthday, and I don't want to do the cycling um, for the because it would be two weeks, like I was saying, two weeks on, 10 days off, only because I was calculating birthdays and like 4th of July. Oh, I'm at 11 minutes. I'm such a long talker, you guys, but whatever. But yeah, I was calculating um, birthdays, 4th of July, and more birthdays. You know, there's so many birthdays throughout the month and then you know my mother-in-law like she loves having parties and stuff like she's having one memorial day weekend so and i don't get to eat that the type of food she cooks every day and she cooks she cooks a lot of caribbean and latin food and i don't cook it so if i want empanadas she cooks it and my kids love them <laughs> or uh uh, fried plantain, fried yucca. Yeah, she cooks all that stuff. Coconut rice. <sighs> it's so good. But I just eat a little bit, a little bit. And I don't want to, you know, I want to be committed when I do this again. I want to be committed to the process and stay on pro call. Because I'm buying this to cure myself, right? I bought it for a reason. So I should just do it the way that's that it's intended to be done. There's no, and for me, it just made, that makes sense to me. And I know, yes, it took so long because I made such a huge deal about doing it my way. I did. And I can sit here and tell you guys, as a woman, I was wrong. Okay? I was so wrong. But... I'm just that type of person where I have to figure it out myself. And when I do figure it out myself, I can admit it. I can admit when I can drop my ego, I can put it at the door and let you guys know that I was wrong, you know. But I do firmly believe, like, you have to be, you have to be in a mental mind frame to do this. You have to be in the right mind frame to do this. And I did not know what to expect my first round. I did not know. But now I know what to expect, you know. And it was more of just this playing tricks on me and stuff. There was a, it was a lot of this going on. And I'm very, very big on that mind and body connection, you know. Our bodies are meant to be at, I mean, we're not meant to be overweight. We weren't born overweight, you know. Our bodies know what to do. It's just this gets in the way. This gets in the way. So I'm going to spend this time also working, like really just diving deep into this because it's. I want to go deeper into that. I really, really do because there really is a connection between the two. You can't do one without working on the other. You can't work on yourself physically without working on your mindset can't work on your mindset without working on yourself physically. Well, that is a natural process, actually. You work on this, this is going to do what it's intended to do. We are self-healers. Our bodies are meant to heal itself. But like I said, this gets in the way. 
So I'm going to leave at that note, you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my video, my long, long, long videos. <laughs> but I think somebody was talking about how my video was so short and you guys missed me doing a long video. So hopefully this is a record. This is part two. All right, you guys, I will talk with you guys later. I still have a lot of vlogs I need to finish watching. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to watch everybody's vlogs today while my kids are still asleep or even when they're up because they're home. They're going to be playing video games and stuff. They ain't going to miss me. I think my husband's barbecuing today too. So I'm not going to have to cook or anything. <clears throat> so I hope everyone enjoys their Saturday. I... Again, thank you so much for the support. I am extremely, I love this community with like all my heart. I'm so glad I found you guys. It's been so, so helpful. And uh, I will talk with you guys later. Bye.